Hey everybody, I do apologize. Um, I said I would be back on here on my two week vlog and we went camping for a week. So I wasn't able to get on there and do anything. It is now three weeks and two days post-op. Um, I'll bring everybody up to date that has that maybe seen my previous vlogs. Before my first surgery, I was a 34 small A B cup, <clears throat> September 2010. Um, no, sorry, September 2015, I got my first surgery. And I went under the arm, behind the muscle, saline, and um, I went to a 34D. It was 465 in one breast, and then it was 505 in the other. Um, I did notice a little bit of rippling underneath, and once I noticed that, um, it bothered me. So um, I did get these done again. I got a revision done and my husband always says if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzly so I went from my 34 D to a 34 double D and I am loving the size absolutely loving it um, went under the arm same incisions behind the muscle excuse me and um, I went silicone this time I also changed out to silicone it feels more natural Silicone kind of has a bad rep, but they have come a long way through the years. They're nothing of what they used to be. Um, love them. Like I said, I love them. I love the size. When I got them done the first time, I liked the size that they were when they were swollen. And they had so much fullness up here. But then after they dropped and settled into place, I apologize. I'm not having this on a table. I'm holding it with my hands up in the, up in the air. So it might be a little shaky, my video. Sorry. Um... I like the swollen. I like the size I was when I was swollen. And um, once that went down, I wasn't disappointed, but I was kind of sad I didn't have that fullness up there anymore. Um, so I went bigger, and I am loving it because now I have all my fullness back up at the top. And um, there's a glare from the kitchen. I think on my videos, when I say left and I point to the left on my videos, it looks like it's the right side, and I really don't know how to change that with these, but um, I'm not having problems with anything, but I am having a little bit of numbness underneath my arm and um, on the side of my breast. So underneath my arm here and then on the side of my breast, it feels like a slight sunburn. It almost hurts to the touch. Um, it is actually starting to feel better. It was hurting when my clothes were touching it. Um, but it's getting better now. And I was Googling it. I live on Google and YouTube. I was Googling it and they said it's a good thing that you can feel that because at least it means that your nerves aren't dead. They're fusing together and healing is what they're doing. But that quick zap is probably like a split second that you'll feel that shooting pain go right up to your nipple. Um... It hurts yeah um, it's not enough to really make me stop what I'm doing but it's enough to go hello yeah you know you you feel it um, I'm gonna be honest and say I'm over the whole healing process <laughs> I've had this done twice now I know it is a surgery that requires patience and sometimes I lack that but I'm going to advise you ahead of time. Have patience. Have patience with your body. Everyone heals at a different rate. Um, with my second one, I actually thought I'd heal faster. But it's kind of taken the same amount of time to get back to feeling like doing normal activities and stuff like that. The pain wasn't as bad at all. Um, first time, the highest was probably about an 8 on my worst day on my first surgery. This time, it might have been a 5. If that, I would probably say more of a 4. But, um, so the pain was fine, but I'm having different things this time that I don't remember so much the first time, but it's been a few years. Like this rawness that feels like a slight sunburn underneath my, this is my left arm. I apologize if my video it makes it look like the right, but I am pointing on my left arm and down through here. It feels like a sunburn, like when you're in the shower and you're trying to wash and it just hurts to touch the skin because it's like so raw and sore. That's what it feels like. But it's getting better every day, and I can tell a difference. Before, it was hurting for my clothes to touch. I was constantly pulling on my shirt to get away from it because just the slightest touch of, on my skin, it really irritated it. It hurt. Um, but that is getting better. I am sleeping more flat on my back now. I'm still sleeping on my back, but not as elevated. 
so I'm getting a better night's sleep because I'm sleeping more comfortable. Um, there's not a whole lot different really to update you guys on. Um, like I said, I didn't really have this last time. Um, so I'll ask my doctor about it. I can raise my arms, but even when I do, there's like, I feels like a slight pull underneath there. And I don't know if that's like a muscle. Um, I would say it probably is, but I'm not an expert. So it's one of the things I'm going to add to my list to ask my doctor. I don't go back there until about three weeks for my second post-op. Um, nipples are fine. Kind of feel a little bit, maybe a numbness at times. And it's on my left side, but... My left side, the first time, I think had the 465cc. I almost can't remember now. And my right side was 505. So my right side got stretched out more, and it was the one that was numb for a while. Even my nipple. I mean, for the longest time, for months. And my nipple, I want to say, honestly, 100% never got back its normal feeling. Um, they used to be really, really sensitive before my surgery, and they're not quite like they were, which that's kind of a disappointment. Um, but... Sometimes you take the good with the bad, and unfortunately, that's one of the side effects I got. Well, this time, they both got 750cc, and my left one got stretched out farther, so I have a feeling that's why I'm getting some of the numbness on this side and not on the right side. But yeah, I'm very happy with my results. For any girl that's going to get it done, get it done because you want it done, um, and you'll be 100% ha happy with your choice. Um, make sure you watch enough vlogs. Um, talk to your doctor. Ask him all your questions and concerns. If you have a good doctor, he'll be honest with you and tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. Um, I always make a list or I put a little list on my phone so I'll ask my questions because when I get there, I might have like 10 questions. When I get there, I'll remember two. So I don't know. It's just how my brain, brain works. Um, but yes, I wish you luck. I know you're going to love them. I love my girls. I'm very happy with them, very happy with the size. But I am ready to get back to normal. I'm tired of everything I do and all the movements I make. It's like, oh yeah. I mean, they just feel like a foreign object still. Like it's just something heavy sitting on my chest. I'm ready for them to feel a part of my body, to feel like normal, like they've always been there. And they did eventually on my first one, too. It's just I don't remember that day that I woke up and was like, oh, you know, wasn't thinking about when I move my arm or do this or raise and pull for something that you can feel the implant move or just feels different. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of over this whole part of it. Um, but like I said, this surgery requires patience, so please be patient. Um, give your body time to heal. Um I don't really have anything different to say. I did say I was going to start vlogging like after my two weeks monthly up to my year mark. Um, or maybe just a couple months and then six months and then a year. But now with it being three weeks and two days, I may not end up doing a um, one month vlog. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I may do a vlog. I may wait until I go to my doctor. And then I'll do my second post-op and then I'll talk about how I've been feeling and the questions that I've asked him and what he says to them. So other than that, um, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sitting down, but I'm 100% happy with them. They are softening up. This just, it takes time. It's a slow process. Um, I love my fullness up here, they have dropped some. Honestly, with it being my second one, they're probably not going to drop a whole lot, which is what I wanted. I wanted to have um, upper cleavage and have it like high up like that. I like that look. It's not so much maybe the natural look that a lot of girls are going for, but I didn't do that the first time. So I just, I told him when I went in, I said, I don't care, honestly, if they look like porn boobs. Um, I went 30. 38 years of being a small A, B cup. I, and the first time I went in, I was like, yeah, I just want to look natural. I was so scared. You just don't know what your outcome is going to be like. So this time, since I got my first ones done, I went in and was like, I don't care if they look like porn boobs. I don't care if they're sitting high up and they don't look normal, natural, or whatever. I said, I want cleavage. I like it. And I know they probably will drop some 
but not a whole lot because my pocket was already there for one so it's sitting there but they are bigger than the first time around so they will have some settling to do um but yes oh my gosh would i do this all over again yeah i would i absolutely love the girls love 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 my cleavage um of course it's winter time and i'm not wearing tank tops i do love tank tops i'm just a tank top person anyway I always have been even when them the girls were small but um oops sorry Ugh, my hair is just such a hot mess um well i guess i'm gonna cut it off because if i don't i just kind of start rambling and i don't want to do that i want to bore you everybody um but hopefully one of my vlogs has helped somebody answered some questions to some point because i lived on youtube and those helped me um, it answered a lot of questions. It answered questions that I wasn't even thinking about. What's my hair doing? Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm very happy with the girls, and I do it all over again. I don't know if it's just the 40s or what, but I feel kind of bummed here lately. It's my favorite season. It's fall. The trees are pretty. I really can't put my finger on exactly what it is, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feel down in the dumps. And it's definitely not these because I'm happy with them. Even though I did say I am totally over the healing process because I am. I want to get back to feeling normal again. Um, no regrets whatsoever. So whatever is putting me kind of in my meh, blah mood, hopefully I'll get out of it soon. I should mean, it's just a slump. Maybe I just need a good Christmas movie and some hot chocolate. It's like been in um 30s here at nighttime here in indiana and during the day we've had like a high of 58 and 59 so um but me christmas person i can watch christmas movies year round but when it has this kind of digits outside i feel like it gives me more of an excuse to do that where people aren't looking at you like really you're watching christmas movies already yeah it's cold so see i've got that so um maybe that's what i need i just need my good christmas night fix but to you girls that are going to get this done um don't worry about what everybody thinks everybody's got their own opinion a lot of people aren't for plastic surgery i say everybody has a difference of opinions everybody gets things done for whatever reason i mean some people get veneers done because they want to fix their smile it makes them feel better about their whole face i mean we all have different personal reasons of why we get things done and who are we to judge anybody for what they do so, um, yeah, I'm not judging you. I just wish you the best of luck and I hope you have a fast healing process and, um, I'll do another vlog maybe before my post-op. I really don't know, but I will do another one after my second post-op, um, visit, which I believe is November 7th or 9th, somewhere around there. So, um, all right, girls, y'all have a good night and till next time. All right. Bye.